Okay, I'm going to show you how to finish off that little strap that you made in the last video. You're going to have these two ends left over. And um, some people would say, well, why don't you save those ends for seaming? The problem is you're not going to be seaming at this point because it's going to be loose. See how that's going to be hanging loose? So you can go ahead and weave in those ends. So to weave in the ends, you get... Um, called a tapestry needle. It has a little curve at the end of the needle. Makes it easier to do your work with yarn. And it has a good size hole that your yarn can go through. So you don't try to stick it through there. It's not going to work. You have to fold it across your needle. Squeeze it real tight. And then put that folded part through the hole. And wiggle it. And it comes right through. It's very easy. <coughs> now, now you want to look at your strap and decide which part you want to be facing out. If you like the way this looks, or if you like the way that looks. I think I like the way this looks. So I want this to be my right side. So you want to remember that. That, that side is your right side. So what you should do is you should mark it. <coughs> You can mark it with a stitch marker, or you can just get a little piece of um, yarn, which is what I'm going to do, because I want to mark my right side. That's my right side. Fold that, put it through. So I have a different colored yarn here, and this is the side I like, I think. Let me look at it again. Yeah, this is the side I like. So I'm just going to put a little piece of yarn through here like this <coughs> to mark this side. And I'm going to tie it loosely so I can take it off again in a little while. So that's showing which is my right side. This is the side I want to be out. Out. Be out. That's the right side. So I'm going to weave in all my ends on the wrong side. So once again, I fold my yarn over, squeeze it real tight, push the fold through the hole, and got it threaded. So now I know I'm working on the wrong side. So you just find the place to get started, and then you just run your yarn through a few strands just keep picking up another strand pick up another strand and fill up your needle full of stitches just pull it through very gently and make sure not to pull it too far because you don't want it to pucker like that so keep it stretched out nice and neat like that and you're not finished yet. That's only half of the weaving in. Now what you do is you go back the other way. So you have to skip the first stitch that you went under and you can go back through all the others that you went through. And once again, very gently, I hold it stiff with my hand like that. Pull that through. Just like that. And now you can cut that. Because now it's secured. It's not going to go anywhere. Even if you wash it, that won't come loose. So now I have one end woven in. So now I'm ready to weave in the other end. <clears throat> fold it across, squeeze it real tight, let the fold through the hole. So let's look and find our marker. That's the right side. So I'm going to weave it in on the wrong side. So I'll just come up here and start going underneath some stitches. All 
all the way over here until my needle is just about full of stitches. And make sure you're not um, coming through on the other side. You don't want it to just be running through and showing on the other side. That would be bad. So you pull that through. Just like that. And now we go back the other way. So skip the first stitch and just go back through the other way. And pull that. Now my ends are woven in and I can untie this little knot and take off this marker because I know where the right side is now. Ta-da! All done. Now I'm ready to put my little strap on my booty. But I need to make my booty first. <laughs> At least my strap is done. So we'll set that aside and we'll get started on the booty in our next video. See ya!